I've been trying to fucking tell him. I mean, this is epic right here. Today's story starts on customs. You know, I was eager to go and get some loot finally because all I've been doing in the past weeks is spending money. I'm not looting, I'm not doing any scab runs. No matter how well my moonshine factory is performing, my stash was getting thinner by day. So I decided to bring an item case on customs and see what we can come up with. So you know I visited the dorms, nothing there, scav boss didn't spawn, and I heard some M4 shots on the way, decided to check it out, finally spotted a guy next to the gas station in the little building. You guys know the Tarkov is a game of choices, right? You can engage, you don't have to, you can hide in a bush for 30 minutes, technically nobody will know, except for you. But, when you have an items case in your backpack, and you're set to find some loot, you kinda want it to go as smooth as possible. But I didn't want it to go as smooth as possible, so I wanted to assert dominance. The honey badger in me wouldn't let me do anything else. You gotta remember, I got an items case on the line. Yeah, the guy is dug in quite nicely over there with an M4. So, you know what, dude? <laughs> Assert dominance! Attack the man! The man be dead! The man be have gear! Are you here? Oh my god. That was a nice nade, wasn't it? We got we gotta do it like this! <laughs> hey Okay, what? Sixty-nine. <laughs> oh, we can save another row with the beta. Whoa, Arsenal storage room. <laughs> Hello. Honey Badger, no? What, what do we mean, no, dude? That that boy is thick. We might actually have to leave, which sucks, but... Six minutes? I should probably go. Maybe it's a player's cab with a VSS, you know? It's the game. We had fun, we attacked, we risked. We showed what a honey badger does in its natural fucking habitat! Oh! You know what? I don't even know what to say about labs anymore. I'm starting to love that map. I used to play a lot of labs back in the day when it didn't require a keycard, but now it's kinda... Basically you're gonna lose money one way or another. You gotta keep in mind that every single person on labs is geared. I'm pretty sure that the least geared player I've seen on labs in the past couple of weeks was a guy with a pimped out suppressed SKS. 
but my problem with labs is not knowing all the nooks and crannies of the map, you know? But there's another thing that makes me want to play more. It's the atmosphere. Dude, when that lady sounds off, when an extract is being opened, I get literal chills. Add on top of that the fact that I don't know which extraction is which, tends to get a little bit hectic. And see, here's the funny part. You can keep going into the lab and dying, but dude, eventually, you will have become the lab lord. I'm not saying I'm the lab lord. However, there are a lot of lab lords out there. And when you kill a squad and get a shit ton of loot from them, oh, that's a magical feeling. Yo, dude, fight me! What the fuck? What? They're gonna pincer me, dude. I need his nades, dude. He's got like 23. <laughs> Where's the other guy? Where's the second guy, dude? I heard him jumping. Oh, I got him? Wait, did I get him with the nade? I think I got him with the nade. Yeah, with the nade. Fuck yeah, dude. Okay, so whoever was asking me about gear fear, you know, this shit is gonna happen. You're gonna you're gonna win. You're gonna lose a lot, but you're gonna also win. Look look at this. You can carry two fucking scavs in this. Yo, nice fucking gun, my dude. That's guy number two, so I'm just try not to startle him. Is that a three man or more? Yeah, this was the SVD guy. I heard a fucking M700 going off as well. Give me that. No. Oh. Hi. Two low gears were just collateral. Yo, 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 what about the M700? Yeah, they were thick as fuck. <gasps> the diaper helmet! Sorry. Got that full gen 4. Where's Rashala? You're not Rashala. Oh, you little gazop -azop. Oh, you were geared, my bro. Nice. Yeah. Oh, hello. Well, you asked for it. Okay, I killed one. 
Ah, the 9 mil sucks. Don't you ever go with a 9 mil again. Dude, I saw a wonderful comment on one of my last videos. Somebody said, watching a 9 mil fight with armor is like watching a slab fight. <laughs> Dude, he's not wrong. I will tell you this though, it's more powerful than you think. Take the MPX for example, which I'm rocking in this raid by the way. Dude, it's so fun to use. I keep saying that you have to adjust your playstyle to the weapon you're using and of course the armor you have on. You gotta be more mobile with submachine guns. So how effective can you be with a 9mm gun and no face shield? Somebody's creeping up. Dude, I panic. I don't panic when I hear gunshots. I, I panic when I hear footsteps. Buddy boy, took some rounds. I think the first guy had an MPX as well. They both had visors. He tanked a little bit. Appreciate the loot, buddy. You guys seen my shoes? That dog ain't gonna hunt. Hey. Wait, that's an SVD, dude. That's a pepper. Okay, yo, 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 yo. We gotta, we gotta take this <laughs> bit by bit. That's an SVD, man. You shred me to pieces. Ah! Nice lag there, buddy. SVD, yeah, player. Dude, that guy has been camping like crazy. That's the guy who looted the, the weapon. Okay, we might die now, but we gotta do it like this. No, no, no. Fuck. We're gonna die. Went all the way down. I like turtles. It was an SVD. Do you guys have a feeling that you sometimes do way better on your scav runs than on your PMC? I don't know if it has anything to do with the scav spawning in later, when some of the shit already went down. It might also have to do with the fact that you're not losing anything, technically. I mean, if you extract, you extract. If you don't, it's whatever. So do you guys maybe play more aggressively with your scavs just because of that? I mean, you could be a bunch of honey badgers as well. This is not exactly Makarov to Riches run, but it's kind of like AK to Riches. Check it out. Where'd they go, dude? Damn it! Oh! Little sneaky fucker! No! Frank the flank time, friend! What? Wait, who is this guy? What? Player scab, okay. I revealed my position. Now they know where I am. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's for shooting at me, dude.
<laughs> Alright, well, that was the easy part. We gotta get the loot and get the fuck out. You gotta say, though. Really nice AK. You don't see a lot of people using this cope. It's a really good setup, though. Appreciate it. I respect it. <laughs> what? Another player's cab, dude. This map has so many player's cabs. Так, пацаны, сегодня мы кайфуем. Oh! No, 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 no! Fuck. Stop doing that. Is that a PMC? Fuck the loot, I'm out of here. Okay, so lately a lot of people have been asking me what's my favorite weapon in EFT. I mean, it's definitely the VSS, but that's not what I use the most. It's gotta be this thing, dude. It's cheap, easily modifiable, and you know it's all about the looks, so... Dude, look at this. The Aggressor Handguard. This could possibly be the single most badass looking attachment in Escape from Tarkov. Let's see how it performs. Here comes the aggressor. I got a big mag. What? <coughs> nice. Oh. going on over there? No, no. Is that a Val I hear? Oh. Was a Val. Nice gear, man. Внимательно, не палимся. Is it hard playing solo all the time? Well, for me, it's fun, and it's not as stressful as when playing in a squad. You know, there's all these people I gotta look after. Not look after as in protect, rather protect for myself so I don't shoot them because most of the time, I don't have a single clue who anyone is. Sure, communication is key, but when it's going on so fast and my knowledge of the callouts is pretty weak, you know what I'm saying? It tends to get rather hectic. In all seriousness though, I've had some awesome duo raids, even three man. You know, anything above that feels a little bit too much. I'm not saying it's not valid. Dude, there's squads that can function super well, even with a five man. Not me, however. I'm all about that solo life, baby. You know, I don't even know if the lighting in this garage is like good. Maybe it needs reworking. Cause I know there are some spots where uh, when you look at the garage from the outside, it looks Two guys? You got more?
Oh, he doesn't know. There's somebody on the right as well. it was a duo. Stop! Wait. There's more. Could have lived. Fucking whack a mole. Oh, you got some balls. I'll give you that. What do you got, though? MDR? So the M4 build that I had on Interchange, I gotta tell you dude, it's pretty good. I can't play too much Interchange though, cause it gives me anxiety. I will say this, successful PvP runs on Interchange, they kinda boost my confidence, and by the time I load into a new map, it kinda goes away. Damn your loading times Tarkov. Anyway, I took this M4 out to customs, and I just wanted the PvP, I didn't want to loot. So here's what happened. Fuck. Oh, this is crazy, dude. You got this. Diggy shit. that. Мразота.
we go. Ah, remember? I just wanted to fight. I didn't want the loot. No, dude, I'm not gonna be able to carry all this. 